your dancers. All of you. Like life, dance creates and destroys itself in every moment. Like love, it is beyond reason. Ephemeral as breath, concrete as bone, dance is made of you. Ah, see, that's how it's done. Right? Real slide. <laughs> yes. Piece of cake. As a creator, I have a relationship with the unknown. And the body becomes the place where I have that conversation. When I feel like I'm under tension between trying to reconcile something that is aggressive and compassionate, or something that is reckless and something that's rigorous, it's not a comfortable place, but for me, it feels vital and generative. Movement can be a kind of visual music, a certain kind of punctuation in the body. Working with dancers, I describe states like the spikiness of your fingers is an outward expression of an internal suffering or your body is breaking into a series of small pieces and they're crumbling, or that your chest is moving inwards because you are consumed by a particular emotion, or like snap, or like pop, or like break things that like And that was better. I'll do the crossing one that's more interesting. The choreographer, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> it's another language to describe what we're doing physically. Boom, that's it, okay. sort of, okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So then, and then that click, it changes speed again as soon as you go into the upside down thing. Gonk, ooh, that was cool. Yeah, I like how your head just kind of floated okay. on top of that. Okay. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. I love the idea that a dancer on a stage represents you. I mean, for me, the whole point about doing any of this work is to create the conditions for us to connect. I'd like us to all find our pathways to the same place and meet there. There's all kinds of ways of getting people to connect to what's happening on stage. Force, trajectory, inertia, and recovery. Dancing is a ride, a duet between your instinct and imagination. To be human is to be danced by life. <laughs>